Alright guys, so I'm about to go check out Dumbo. Uh, just came out today. I'm gonna go see it in Dolby. So um, um, I don't know how to feel about this movie. I mean, it looks cute, but I don't think that we needed a live action Dumbo movie. But anyways, let's head into the theater and let's see how this movie is. Cute movie, I won't lie, but the overall movie, we'll talk about. Alright guys, so it's been a few days since I saw Dumbo, and uh, I, you guys have no idea how insanely busy I have been the past few days, so I'm sorry for the late reviews. I mean, yeah, I had time to watch movies, but... Uh, uh, there has there's been so much happening uh, recently uh, a lot of um, chores and you know errands and appointments and all that so uh, yeah I'm sorry for this really delayed review but uh, I guess let's get talking about Dumbo uh, this is gonna be a quick review um uh, you know it came out a few days ago so yeah so basically this is a retelling of the animated classic which to begin with isn't even that long of a movie the, like the original movie is barely an hour long and somehow they found a way to make this movie two times, you know, the length of the first movie, which uh, this movie's two hours long. And you, you know, when it when it came to seeing that they announced the live action version, this movie, I was very skeptical because I don't think that Dumbo was nece necessarily um, ever due for a live action movie. But then a uh, scene. Tim Burton, Tatch's director, was a bit more relieving since he could possibly do something wild and different with this movie. And they really do try something different, a different angle, by add, adding more to this movie than what was there originally with the original movie. Uh, for example, like w they replaced the mouse character from the original film, they replaced them with human characters, and even expanding on the movie's circus storylines. The thing is that while I did like Colin Farrell and you know his, the actors that played his kids in this movie, the human characters are very dull and only made the movie drag more and it made it, it made the movie more uninteresting than it could possibly have been. The movie was also kind of really kind of boring. Of course, so Dumbo appears and he starts doing his circus acts, which is which isn't till like the first hour in the movie. Um, they do build up the first hour to set it up for the rest of the movie, of course. But the thing is that the characters are, again, they're just so boring, so flat. And the story overall also got boring to a point where I was actually uninterested in the movie anymore. Um, but uh, you know what? I liked the second act. I thought that the second half, or, you know, the second half, I liked the second half of the movie. It brought more of the charm and the fun that the original sort of had. My main problem with the last half, though, is Michael Keaton's character, who I guess is supposed to be the bad guy of the movie and he comes off as a very boring you know greedy and wealthy businessman who gets what he wants only because he's rich which is a character cliche that has been used frequently to make the rich guy the bad guy in the movie and that's what they do here um and also but you know the movie's visuals though are outstanding and overall tim burns style to this i honestly really enjoyed um and you know tim burton really did try here just that he was given a very weak script to work with. Overall, Dumbo, I think, is a very mediocre movie, like a extremely mediocre movie. Um, possibly a movie that I wouldn't recommend seeing till at least till Redbox or Netflix, unless you want the theatrical experience, which I, I can't really recommend paying a uh, full price or uh, you know paying a movie ticket to watch this movie just because there's much better things out there. But uh, if, hey, if you want to go to a matinee, go see this on a matinee. It's not gonna hurt. But anyways. Uh, I recommend a rental for this movie, and with that being said, I'm going to give Dumbo a C+. And yes, I did see this movie in the Dolby Cinema, and this movie is not in Dolby Cinemas anymore, for, but for you guys wondering what I thought about the experience overall, uh, it had a really nice picture, and it had some really nice sound quality. There was actually 
uh, you know, a lot of scenes where Dumbo flies over you and they use those Dolby Atmos speakers to actually uh, make that effect, like, you know, come to life. And it really worked. I, I thought it was a good Dolby experience. And if uh, you're going to watch this movie and if it still has a, a Dolby Atmos mix in your theater, then I would recommend going to that showing. But anyways, uh, yeah, Dumbo, what you guys think about it? Comment in the comment section down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.